An equipment malfunction at a restaurant can lead to several critical violations. And that's what health inspectors noted. Here's 13 ABC's Tony Geftis with this week's restaurant report card. Each week here on the restaurant report card, we highlight those health inspection reports with the highest numbers of violations. Now keep in mind, health inspectors don't give out fines, but they can close a place down. These standard health inspections are meant to help restaurants so you can eat without worry. Here are the restaurants with the highest number of violations during the latest two week period. A mango restaurant on Monroe Street had 12 violations, four of them critical. Raw beef and chicken stored above produce, food stored on the floor throughout the facility at the time of inspection, and three sinks were being used to store equipment and not accessible for use. 13 ABC left a message with an employee of a mango. We're still waiting to hear from the owner. Chili Jacks in the Mayberry shops of Sylvania had 14 violations, including nine critical. Inspectors found moldy liquid in the cold tech cooler. It was immediately thrown out. They also threw out all temperature control foods inside, including a half bag of cheese, a container of cookie dough, a carton of eggs, a container of coleslaw, and other items. And inspectors noted there was an Axe deodorant spray on the food storage shelf. An employee with Chili Jacks told 13 ABC over the phone, everything was fixed. I did go to that class at the health department to get certified. As far as I know, they took care of everything. That class is called Person in Charge Basic Food Safety. The Toledo Lucas County Health Department offers it each month, and it's required according to the Ohio Administrative Code. You know, it's working with them to understand their processes and try to help them out. And for us to understand, too, the process, they might say, no, that's not going to work for me because this is why. Well, then come up, we'll come up with another solution to that issue. Now for the restaurants with zero violations, P.F. Chang's China Bistro inside Fallen Timbers had a clean bill of health during the last standard inspection. Timberwolf Tavern on Jutland Street was also violation free. Inspectors noted the facility was clean and well maintained. That's something to howl about. For the Restaurant Report Card, Tony Guptis, 13 ABC Action News. And other restaurants that had zero violations during their last inspections include these. Neapolis Pizza Shop on Main Street in Neapolis, Freeze Daddy's in Monclova, the McDonald's on Dutch Road in Waterville. All of those restaurants violation free. Mm -hmm.